Hi Taurus, it's Friday, April 11th today, 2023. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages spirits have for you, what you should be aware of. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know? What's happening with Taurus? Okay, one more shuffle, Taurus, and we'll take a look at this and see what's going on. Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? The Magician, the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Four of Cups. There's something here, Taurus, that you've been manifesting, and it's actually going to work out different than what you thought it's going to work out, than the way you thought it would. Something's changing. There's this manifestation, something that you wanted with the magician. It's your very first card. And it's almost like you're changing your mind or something here. We're going to go back and clarify the cards. But something that you're, that you're looking at, that you're working towards, you're changing your mind. You have the Six of Cups. The Three of Swords. The Ten of Swords. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles. And you have the Five of Wands. All right. Let's clarify. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, there's something here you were moving towards. And all of a sudden, it's like there's this battle here with the Five of Wands. Some type of an argument or something breaking out. And so I'm seeing it. It's like you're coming to a stop. Stop here to stop from getting involved in this mess. Why is the magician here? You have the emperor. This is Aries energy. The seven of pentacles. And you have the moon. Hmm. You have the ten of cups on the bottom of the deck here. This could be a family member or something. You may be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer with the moon showing up. Aries energy here is Empress. I mean Emperor. There's something here that you're in your emotions, you're in your feelings about. Um, and it has to do with this manifestation, all right? Something that you wanted that you were trying to make happen. And I'm seeing here with the Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles, it's almost like you've taken control over some some type of situation in your life you've invested in it and it's like you're you're looking at it and you're wondering is anything actually going to grow here and so i'm feeling like this this is an energy of thinking about walking away from this manifestation You've put time, energy, effort into this, and it's not growing like you thought it would. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? You have the High Priestess. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, and you have the Ten of Wands. Yeah. 
there's there's something here that has to do with like a complete turnaround a complete setting down of what this manifestation is um, it's like this has become more burdensome than you're wanting to carry here I feel like you're still carrying it but it's very heavy I mean just look at the person on this ten of wands look at what you're carrying around with you and it's a ten so you're getting ready to drop it and let it go and find peace with that with temperance showing up here but I'm seeing here that you're keeping it to yourself you know you could be keeping silent about it why is the Queen of Cups here the King and the Queen of Cups might be a relationship but you're both far apart from each other in the deck you could be going in different directions why is the queen of cups here see just like all the cards just fell out of my hands it's like it's like that it's like this just is not working i don't have any control over it four of pentacles is here you may have this feeling of i'm going to hold on to my money you're really doing some deep deep going into your higher self with the hermit energy here and questioning whether you want to continue to give your money or to something your money or your time I'm seeing you holding back what you were investing. Now you're holding on to the same pentacles that over here you're looking at that you planted. This could be your time, your money. Now you're holding on to it and questioning this. And what you're questioning here is, should I let this go? Should I just drop it all and walk away? Because it's it's very heavy it's difficult to carry when you see that ten of wands energy it's heavy and so this is what i'm seeing you doing here is just saying i'm dropping it and then you have the two of swords here so there's some type of a decision that you need to make you have the lovers on the bottom of the deck this is gemini energy but again this is a decision a choice that I'm feeling like you haven't been willing to make why is the two of swords here you have the Sun Leo energy and you have the ace of Pentacles the five of cups and the knight of wands see something here is gonna end this is Scorpio energy of death card. I feel like I feel like you know it's going to end, but it's showing me that it, it that there's some sadness here with losing whatever this is in your life. There's like emotional sadness here. And this is why you're, you haven't spoken up. You haven't said anything. You haven't walked away yet. Um, but you're in this Knight of Wands energy where you're rushing towards the sun, your happiness, and this new thing. Because I'm seeing a new opportunity coming into your life. Um, with this Ace of Pentacles. Isn't this similar to the reading I just did for you guys? It feels like it is. Like there's something new coming in. And it's going to make you very happy with the sun. And I'm seeing you rushing towards it. But yet, there's, there's this sadness of a loss of losing what used to be. And in the center of your reading, you have the Four of Swords and you have the Four of Cups. 
these are fours and the fours in tarot they represent some type of stability <coughs> and i do see pentacles here so this could have something to do with your money taurus why is the four of swords here it's almost like you're you're laying here praying um for something And you know what? That something shows up. This is the good news. Um, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. What you've prayed for, what you've wished for, here it is. It causes a tower moment. It shocks you. And um, you have the nine of pentacles here. This is your money or you choosing to become single or something you you're going to get what you what you asked for but something else this tower does not feel good do you see the people falling out of these buildings so wherever you're at now it's going to cause this big shakeup in your energy here and then you have the 4 of cups You have judgment on the bottom of the deck. Decision time. Oh. Why is the Four of Cups here? I'm feeling like there's, for some of you, not for all of you, um, there's this energy of something from your past returning with judgment showing up here um, that changes everything for you because you're like sitting in an energy here with the four of cups like you're bored and that but not for long because something here judgment is is calling to get to work to get busy here and whatever you're working on here i'm seeing it making you very happy with the nine of cups but I keep seeing the, these single energies. And so you may be um, focusing on yourself right now, your higher self, which is really, really good. It's going to take you places. But I'm, I'm picking up like this nostalgia in your energy here. Something from the past that makes you feel some sadness. And for some of you, this, this past is coming back around again. Why is the Six of Cups here? You have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy. Why is the Six of Cups here? You may receive an offer that you can't refuse. You have the King of Cups. So this past energy, I'm seeing a person here. This may be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Um, this person's really up in their head about you. This person that you've been that has come into your mind, they are repeatedly thinking about you right now. They're obsessed with you. You have the four of the four of wands showing up now this person whoever this past energy is they want to have it all with you this i i mean this is just someone that you have history with all right and i'm feeling like this is the past for some of you returning and then you have the, the three of swords and you have the ten of swords but with this past returning um, there's something here that has you tied in your mind about releasing what is right now. Why is the Three of Swords here? You have the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Three of Wands. There may be someone here at a distance from you. 
you know, that I'm getting again, be careful what you wish for, you just may get it. Because there's someone here that could be at a distance from you and you could have hoped and waited for this person and whoever this is, this person is going to cause you some type of heartbreak and so I'm getting a warning here, all right? There's like a third party energy here and this person is being deceptive. This may be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, but there's someone here that is lying, cheating, or stealing. There's a deceptive energy here that shows up. And then you have the Ten of Swords. So it comes to an end, and it comes to an end painfully. So you may have thought you were following a certain direction here in your life and it's like you're letting go of it. But the tower is something that we really don't have any control over. It's like the universe stepping in and something, something just suddenly ending why is the Ten of Swords here? And remember, you guys, I'm not trying to put a story together. I'm reading you messages through the tarot. So some of these may resonate with you. Some of these messages may not. But what I'm getting here is there could be something online here that is ending some type of lie. Why is the Ten of Swords here? And it could even make you feel, you know, like you've been stabbed in the back. You have the Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Cups. And there's something here about um, some type of a commitment and something that you really don't want to walk away from. I'm seeing you walking, walking away from it. And it leaves you feeling hurt. Because I'm getting here that you're going to be stopped in your tracks. You are moving towards something. You're going to be stopped in your tracks. You're going to look ahead and you're going to go, wow, really? There's a whole bunch of conflict here and it changes your mind. All right, so let's clarify that. The Knight of Pentacles walking towards this conflict and this fight and stopping. All right, you could even be thinking about travel here. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Yeah, think about it. Look at the bigger picture before you hit a tower moment. Okay? I keep getting stuck during this reading on what to say. And I see you getting... It's because you're getting stuck in a situation here that you were moving towards that is going to turn into something not good. What What is this conflict? Why is the Five of Wands here? See, look, the Devil's here. Capricorn energy. There's a person here that is lying. Why is the Five of Wands here? The truth is coming out here. The truth is coming out with a connection, someone that you're dealing with here. This is Libra energy, justice. And I'm seeing here that you may try to back up and go backwards. 
and the person that you're dealing with that you did have a plan with is going to say no go away and this could be work or this could be love you know but just doesn't I mean it looks like something that I really need to tell you guys so while you're approaching this tower moment before you hit the tower moment here and let some and walk away from something that you care about take a look at the bigger picture stop and look at the bigger picture all right you guys so those are your tarot cards let's um, grab your Moonology cards and get some advice from the universe for you. So you have what do you need to release? And this is the waning moon. And you have surrender to the divine full moon. Alright, and then um, I want you guys to choose an angel answer card. Number one, number two, or number three. And Keep the second number or the third number that you're that you have in your head right now. You're trying to choose between two or three um, because this is a general reading, and the first one it may not resonate with you. Okay, so I'm gonna have you choose num number one, number two, or number three, and let's see what your angels, your guides would like to tell you here. If you chose number one, you're being told to look for a sign. Um, do Pay attention to red flags. If you chose number two, the answer is no. If you chose number three, ask your angels. So this is something that you may be asking that's very specific. Um, and you can speak out loud and ask your angels this question. All right, you guys. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me. And um, make sure you take care of you and the ones that you love today. And thank you for sending me all of your good energy. And I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste. Namaste.